The Republican Party that you and I knew does not exist. There's only Trump and Trumpism. I think that Trump and Trumpism is the greatest threat this country has faced since the fall of communism. If you watched the Democrat debates last night, you were likely really drunk. But if you managed to stay conscious, you definitely noticed CNN activists playing their typically deceptive games, but this time focusing them on Bernie Sanders. Senator Sanders, I do want to be clear here. You're saying that you never told Senator Warren that a woman could not win the election. That is correct. Senator Warren, what did you think when Senator Sanders told you a woman could not win the election? I really love it when their BS comes back to bite them. This is what happens when you put activists in positions of journalism or debate moderation. They're propagandists. What do you expect? Will this open their eyes to the threat posed by CNN and other Democrat Party outlets? Probably not. They live in a media bubble that won't allow them to see anything but pure hatred for their political opposition. This blind partisanship leads to a disconnect that manifests in astonishingly stupid statements like this one. I think that Trump and Trumpism is the greatest threat this country has faced since the fall of communism. And the only way to deal with it is to defeat it resoundingly. And Trumpism doesn't have to just be defeated at the, the polls. It's got to be decimated. First of all, what the hell is Trumpism? It doesn't seem to have a clear definition. It's just the word that the media made up to demonize Trump and his supporters. I found one semi-coherent definition on dictionary.com that stated, Trumpism refers to the non-traditional political philosophy and approach espoused by U.S. President Donald Trump and his supporters. Non-traditional political philosophy. How vague. How are his policies non-traditional? Much of what he said and done would have been supported by Democrats and Republicans back in the 90s. For that matter, his immigration policy, for example, isn't all that different from Barack Obama's. The only difference there is how the media chose to report on those policies. You know, we all agree on the need to better secure the border and to punish employers who choose to hire illegal immigrants. Uh, you know, we are a generous and welcoming people here in the United States, but those who enter the country illegally and those who employ them disrespect the rule of law, uh, and they are showing disregard for those who are following the law. Uh, we simply cannot allow people to pour into the United States undetected, undocumented, unchecked, and circumventing the line of people who are waiting patiently, diligently, and lawfully. Sure, he doesn't act like a traditional politician, but his policies aren't anything vastly outside the norm, especially when compared to the increasingly far left Democrats. And beyond that, his policies are having a good effect on the country and our economy. For all the fear mongering from the media, his policies and trade deals are actually turning out pretty good, which is precisely why they have to continue the fear mongering. I fail to see how Trumpism, whatever the hell that is is a threat to this country more like a threat to the democrat party and their lapdog media that trump and trumpism is the greatest threat this country has faced since the fall of communism <clears throat> god had the sudden urge to clear my throat so the crypt keeper here agrees that communism is a threat or was a threat guess what it's alive and growing in the democrat party right now you're not going to see Trump supporters or Republicans promoting or supporting communism. That is a strictly left-wing Democrat Party thing. These people are communists, and that's a real problem. And, and Democrats are going to have to contend with this, and this is not going to be the last uh, sitting Democrat who is going to get ousted by some uh, uh, socialist who wants free stuff for everybody uh, that comes out of nowhere. For example, the media won't report on it, but Project Veritas just caught a top Bernie Sanders campaign official declaring himself to be a communist, along with many others in the campaign, and who want to throw all of us into actual gulags if they get power. Not only that, but he also threatened violence against cities and police if Bernie Sanders isn't nominated. Can you even imagine if somebody got a Trump campaign official saying anything like this on video? And what about young Democrats? Do they support the U.S. and capitalism? Or do they hate this country and support socialism or communism? According to Axios, 50% of millennials and 51% of Gen Zers have a somewhat or very unfavorable view of capitalism. 70% of them say they would vote 
vote for a socialist. And as we all know, socialism is just a stepping stone to communism. Forgive my pessimism, but I have a feeling if you pose the same question but just put communism in there, you probably get similar numbers. Clearly, this is a problem in the Democrat Party, but for some reason this guy sees the lowest unemployment we've ever had in this country, better trade deals for the U.S., and a roaring economy as the biggest threat. And it will be the end of Trumpism. And Trumpism doesn't have to just be defeated at the, the polls. It's got to be decimated. It's got to look like a beaten arm. It's got to look like Clemson looked last night. Beat and ready to quit. And Michael Bennett is the best choice among any Democrat to accomplish that. It's also worth pointing out that James Carville, a supposed Democrat strategist, is a complete buffoon who's known for accurate predictions like this one. On the other side, I honestly believe this. I think there's some chance that Trump is not going to be the nominee. I, I, I think what we see in here is, is, is a real unraveling. Wrong. So let me get this straight. Democrats have to save the United States from something they're not really clear about what that is. And the election is only legitimate if Democrats win. Just listen to the over the top hyperbolic rhetoric that he's using. You would think he was talking about World War II and Nazis. He actually says that his political opposition, the Republican party needs to be eradicated. This from a guy who's in a party where socialism and communism are now mainstream ideologies. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, please consider subscribing to me on Patreon, Subscribestar, or just sending a donation on PayPal. With the current news cycle and with YouTube demonetizing everything that I upload, I need that support to continue paying for software, upgrading my equipment, and just generally keeping this channel alive. Any way that you decide to support this channel, I deeply appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.